Hey y'all, welcome to part eight of Intro to Programming. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys an exercise to do. I'm gonna run through the, the description of the exercise. I then highly encourage you to then pause the video, try to tackle it by yourself, and then if you succeed or you get stuck, you can play the video and watch me walk through the solution. So here it is. Write a console application that will send a friendly greeting to the user. Ask the user how many small pizzas they want, how many medium pizzas they want, and how many large pizzas they want. Use those values to calculate a subtotal price based on the values below, the values of the pizzas that is down here. Smalls are $8, mediums are $12, and larges are $14. If the user spends over $100, then apply a 20% discount to it. If they spend over $50, then apply a 10% discount to it. If they spend less than $50, then they don't get any discount. After the discount is applied, then apply a 7% sales tax. Then print out a receipt that contains the purchaser's name, how many small pizzas they ordered, how many medium pizzas they ordered, and how many large pizzas they ordered, and the overall total. And here's an important note. So every time you capture user input, that input is always compiled as a string. Um, so you really can't, you, well you can, uh, but you can't convert or you can't get user input just as an integer. You have to manually convert it every time. And this is how you do that. It's pretty simple. But you say int dot or int number for the variable name um, equals int dot parse console dot read line. So int dot parse and then in parentheses console dot read line. And that is parsing the integer that you pass in to an actual integer. Because when you pass it init and initially, it's just a string. Okay, so there should be four methods for this entire um, for this entire uh, uh, problem. I mean, feel free to break it down even farther if you want to. But um, for uh, my solution, I have four methods. I have a method to calculate the subtotal before the taxes or discounts, a method to apply the discount to the subtotal, then apply the sales sales tax to get the total, the overall total, and then a method to print out the receipt. And then here you have the pizza prices, 8, 12, and 14, discounts down here, and then the sales tax. So if you think you can get it, uh, tackle it by yourself, then please go ahead and do so uh, and pause the video here. If not, I'm going to move on to a couple hints, and then I'm going to move on to the actual solution. So here's a few hints for you guys real quick if you're stuck. One, capture the user input outside of the methods and then use that user input to pass into the, as values to pass into the, uh, to the methods to compute all the values. Two, the subtotal method should have three parameters. The count of small pizzas, the count of the medium pizzas, and the count of the large pizzas. The uh, three, the discount method should have one parameter, which is the subtotal. Then four, the sales tax method should have one parameter as well, and that is the subtotal after the discount is applied. And then the print receipt method should have four parameters, the count of small pizzas, the count of medium pizzas, and the count of large numbers, and then also the overall total. Okay, if you still want to try to tackle it, pause the video again, and then now I'm going to go over the solution. Here I have the main method, and the first thing I'm doing is welcoming the user and asking them for their name and storing that into a variable called name. And then I am printing out a small greeting to that uh, to that user with the name associated with them. And then here I have the actual, um, I'm taking in the actual orders. Uh, so I'm asking how many small, medium, and large pizzas you want. So that's how many small, how many medium, how many large. And each time I'm having to convert it or parse that number into an integer. And then I store those integers in these variables. And then if you move down to here, um, this is where I'm actually calling or invoking all my methods. And first we have a, a double. I'm using doubles to actually calculate the, um, uh, the values. Uh, and I would use decimals. That's normally what you wanna use for currency. But because I haven't showed you guys what decimals are, I'm just using integers and doubles. Um, so the value might not be completely accurate, but it's gonna be close enough. So double subtotal equals calc order. So calc order is defined down here. Let's take a look at that. So we have calc order, and that has three parameters. It has a three integer parameters, that is small, medium, and large, which that stands for the amount of small pizzas, amount of medium pizzas, and amount of large pizzas. And then I'm applying the appropriate price tag to each of them. So I'm multiplying uh, that small number of pizzas by its price, so eight. And then same thing with medium pizzas and large pizzas. And then I'm adding all of those up and returning them. And that gives us the actual subtotal before the discount is applied and before the sales tax is applied. So that value is then stored into a, a variable called subtotal, and then I'm passing that subtotal into a, uh, another method called apply discount. And let's head down and look at that one. So here's the apply discount. 
So remember, if the total is above $100, they receive a 20% discount. And to apply that, I have to pass in the total beforehand, and then I have to compare it to 100. And then if it's greater than 100, I just times that by 0 0.8, which is the equivalent to a 20% discount. And then otherwise, if it's not over 100, but it is over 50, then they still get the 10% discount. And then I would do the same thing there, but just with 0.9. Then I return the total. So that'll give us the subtotal after the uh, discount is applied. And then I store that into a variable called discount total. And then I get to another, uh, I have to apply the tax to it. So that's another method right here. And I'm passing in the discount total as an argument to the apply tax parameter. And let's go take a look at that. Super, super easy method here. Um, so all we have to do is uh, pass in the subtotal after the discount and then return the total times 1.07. And that's going to apply the 7% discount to the total. And that's going to give us the overall total. And I store that in a variable called total. And now here we actually show the receipt. So I'm just console dot right lining to just give a little more space uh, to format it a little more neatly and then print receipt. And here we're passing in the name of the user, the overall total, the amount of small pizzas, medium pizzas and large pizzas. And let's go look at that uh, print receipt method down here. So print receipt here, you can see I have the name total, small, medium and large. Then I say console dot right line. Thank you for your order. Give it some space then uh, say name equals name. So that's the, the name that we captured all the way at the top of the program right here. And then we give a little more space right there just to format it a little bit better. And then I'm only going to print out uh, small, medium and large pizzas. <coughs> Excuse me. If the, if they actually ordered a small, medium or large. So if the small count is greater than zero, then that means they ordered a small, so I'm going to say small pizzas equals small, same thing with medium and large. And then console dot right line, I'm printing out the total here. Um, and then right down here, this is the same thing as this. It's just a uh, currency formatter. So it's just a neat little trick. Well, actually, let me run the program and show you guys what it looks like before I apply that. So let's hit F5. Okay, welcome. Can I please have your name? Say, uh, Aragorn. Hello, Aragorn. How may I assist you today? Small pizzas, two, medium pizzas, three, large pizzas, four. Thank you for your order. Name Aragorn small pizzas. So I can go down here and show you this. Name Aragorn small pizzas, two, medium pizzas, three, large pizzas, four. Total. <laughs> 92.448 really long number um, so if you have something like that that's totally fine we never went over how to actually format currency and do any rounding or anything like that so that's good you did the right thing but let me show you guys how to actually format currency the correct way and like I said earlier normally you would use decimals because that is the highest um, amount of accuracy uh, has the uh, highest amount of decimal places but I didn't show you guys that data type so I didn't worry about that so I formatted, formatted it in US currencies just so you guys can see what that looks like. And how I did that is I used this, uh, this method right here, string.format, this built-in method, and then passed in this, um, which is basically the uh, currency formatter, and then the value we want to format. And then I stored that inside of a string called format total, because that's what this does, string.format, puts it into a string. And then I just wrote that out to the console just like we did before up here. But I had I got to I could exclude the dollar sign because it's already included inside of this string dot format. And if I go ahead and run that, I'll, just so you guys can see what that looks like. Gandalf two two zero. Thank you for your order. Name Gandalf. Small pizza two. Medium pizza two. Total forty two eighty. So you can see that it is formatted correctly now. Um, also, if uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the I I wrote a um, the link to the github uh, code of this of this exercise is in the description below so if you want to check that out for reference uh, feel free to go ahead and do that um, but that's it for this video thanks for watching uh, i'm going to try to make more exercises like this and in the next few videos we're going to start getting into arrays and looping over those arrays and we're going to continue using methods all the time because it's extremely important um, but that's it for this video thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video